Hola amigos, uh, welcome to another episode. It's a Thursday, which means I'm on my own. Uh, I do, I, I mean, it's all right being out on my own. Uh, I, I meet people, I get to see some sights, I see some new pubs, have a few beers, and the wife's waiting for me when I get home, you know? There are worse things. Right, I made it to Stafford. It feels like absolutely ages since I was in Stafford. Uh, it was about nine months ago, so before we started the YouTube channel. So I've got some revisits to do today and plenty of new places. Uh, Stafford, Titanic Brewery are around this area. And if Titanic Brewery open a pub or anything really, you should go because Titanic Brewery stuff is always wicked. So that is what I am starting with today. I'm starting with Bod, which just here in front of me. Now we went in the, uh, the Bod in Stone uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, it's like a, a cafe as well as a, a bar with Titanic beers and stuff on. Uh, the bod that was in stone was absolutely wicked. So uh, I've got high hopes for this one. This is going to be stop number one of the day. I have a feeling we're going to push to 20 plus at least today. Uh, Titanic have got another absolutely wicked pub in Stafford called The Sun. And I can't wait to be back in. But uh, I'm going to go and get started with uh, beer number one of the day then. Bod, Stafford, here we come. Exactly as I thought with this. It's, it's a great look. Uh, Doria, the Titanic, look. The takeaways. Apparently, this uh, this cherry porter is very, very nice. I need to uh, I need to try that at some point, definitely. And I can only imagine that raspberry pale is very, very nice. Above, I'm a big, big, big fan of Titanic's beers in general. So I've got, gone for the old plum porter because every time I see it, I have one. Still some other bits on. But it's a wicked, wicked little sort of cafe bar. Great little selection of stuff that they've got on on the things. Nice over there, over the far side. They've got a great little space on it of the town, but it's well worth coming over here to see. The guys that work here are lovely. It's just as good as I was expecting. It's just as good as the stone. They've uh, got the stuff on the, on the choice on the back as well. So you've got plenty of Titanic stuff, but plenty of other choice if the Titanic stuff isn't necessarily your cup of tea. But if it isn't, and you've never tried this plum porter, I strongly suggest you do. It's wicked. Cheers, guys. I, I love everything about Titanic Brewery. I love their beers, I love their pubs. I, I just love the whole vibe of it. Um, and there, that's a, Another top-notch example of a, a Titanic brewery establishment. Uh, on the way in towards sort of Stafford Town Centre, uh, and I'm going to stop at this one, the Spittle Brook. And I'll be honest, I picked this one on the way in uh, over a, another couple of ones. One was a chain pub, a stone house. I picked this one because I quite like the name. Simple as that, really. So Spittle Brook is stop number two of the day. Uh, it looks uh, it's down a, down a little quiet cul-de-sac. Looks quite nice. Well up for a beer. Um, the opening times, as usual, for people's pubs all around the town are playing havoc with my route. So it's going to be a bit higgledy piggledy all over the place today. But I'm kind of used to that now, and so are you, I'm sure. So, number two, Spillbrook. Nice country pub vibes on the outskirts of the town selection in here. I've got a half a Brixton, half a Brixton pale in here. You know, I like that. It's good choices. Four on the old hand pulls. Uh, TV, We've got poker and stuff, obviously. Come. So, uh, yeah, stop number two, not too bad. There's another bar running outside, uh, other side. Go have a look. Anyway, big, uh, big restaurant side. Obviously on this, and a nice garden space out the back. So, uh, decent, a decent second stop off. Uh, I'm very impressed with what I've seen so far. Um, both pubs have been very, very nice. So, coming down the, uh, the main road now in towards the, the town centre of so stop number three, the Star and Garter. Lovely looking old pub this, uh, beautiful thing. Says so all these road works are, are, are making it difficult for people to get to here. But it's a free house, independent. Uh, I love independence, so stop number three is the Star Guard. Lovely 19th century pub for uh, This Birra Murano I've gone for in here. I've never tried this before in my life. It's actually really, really nice. <laughs> Got a horrible forged Irish stout though. I'll let them off though, because this Birrano is really nice. Got bass on the hand pool around here. Pool table, feels like a community local, but it's, it's a beautiful 19th century building this. Love like wood burner and things like that. Gorgeous floor and stuff. I'm really impressed with this. And so because it's just a stone throw from the town as well, it's, it's definitely something that should be included when you when you think about going out in the town. But yeah, I like seeing the outskirts pubs. I'm really pleased I stopped in there. It's absolutely beautiful. On we go. I did say today's route wasn't going to make a hell of a lot of sense because the opening times of things. So I'm trying to get as much on the outskirts that is open as I can done now, uh, which brings me up to one of the other side roads. It's another major road going out of Stafford a different way. Uh, Prince of Wales. So you can see it's a, a whopping great busy road. The leisure centre and stuff's up there, but there are two bars here. Prince of Wales, which looks a beauty, an old beauty. Sky Sports and everything on offer. And then to the Metropolitan Bar in a minute. So start number four. I'm doing well we counting so far today. And I, start, I know we're only on four though. Start number four, Prince of Wales. 
Yeah, 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 good, 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 uh, and you know I'd tell you if it wasn't, so yeah, that's, uh, it's very good. Uh, so stop four, Prince of Wales. So far, so good. All new pubs on me. Uh, Metropolitan Bar, I think, next. And then I think we're going to make it to the bottom of town. Do a few more of them before I'm going to have a hell of a walk up to uh, the, the other end of town later on. But, you know, I'm here for the long haul. Cheers. Yeah, nice enough, friendly little place. Worth a stop in, landlord friendly, Guinness was good. Can't really complain, can I? So, uh, 100 yards. Uh, down the road from there. Two, the Metropolitan Bar. Now I'm going to hazard a guess. I'm going to go on a limit because even look, I'm going to say that this used to be a cop shop. If this wasn't an old police station, then I will eat my hat. Uh, if it was an old police station, it's nice to see they finally made use of one of them. So uh, it's got to be. I'm going to ask when I go in, but yeah, it, this has got to be. So the Metropolitan Bar is stop number five. So I was wrong. It didn't used to be a police station as well. Uh, it used to, apparently this used to be a toll road, so it was a, a toll booth or something up there. So it didn't used to be a police station. It does look and feel like it should have been an old police station though. Uh, it's owned by that Dorbier pub company again, who owns Star and Garter. Hence they've got uh, Irish Stout and stuff in here again. Pub table, nice layout, lovely looking pub. Got that uh, Bira Murano that I had in the last one on there as well, which is a decent lager. Oh, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice, it's, uh, it's good. But no, I'm, I'm amazed that it never used to be a police station. They even they said, even the way they've done the signage makes me look. Apparently it used to be called the gate because it was a gate on the toll road. Oh well, I was wrong. Uh, six X on the, uh, on the neck oil. Guinness is not bad again either. So I'm happy enough, even if I was wrong. I'm not wrong very often. Yeah, I'm still impressed. Five new pubs, five good ones. Nothing to, uh, nothing to criticize thus far in Stafford at all, to be honest. I do like the town anyway. Uh, and I've made it now to the bottom of the town, so I'm gonna do a few here before we have to take a long old hike up to the other end of the town. So my second Titanic Brewery pub of the day. I said, you know how much I love Titanic. This is a, a really special pub. It's a, it's a gorgeous pub. It's, I said, it doesn't look that much from the outside. It doesn't look that big from the outside, but really it is. It's a gorgeous pub. I can't wait to be back inside. It was one that I was very much looking forward to being back to today. Signing is stop number six. I loved this pub last time I came in, and I, and I love it still. It is. It's a Titanic Brewery. Are superb. Stuff they've got on. Anyway, so before we uh, before we head along on the uh, some of these, the pails and the uh, and the other bits. Thank you. Sorry, I'm, I'm just interrupting customers. So I will wander around. Got the old uh, the Iron Brew Vault City for those who are fans. As we know, I'm not an Iron Brew fan, but I am a Vault City fan. Obviously, I had a I had a plum porter in here again as well. And you've got some wicked choices and stuff in here, but just have a look around this pub and me. Look how look how beautiful this pub is in general. Gorgeous floors, gorgeous way of setting the pub out. You can walk, you can wander all the way around in here and just enjoy it. Comfy boots, things like that. It is just an absolute belter of a pub. This lovely little little area with a car park at the back and stuff. It is a beautiful pub. I love everything about this. I love all the, uh, the Titanic history they've got up on the wall as well, so you can actually see the Titanic Brewery to take pride in the Titanic history. And I'm back. Top pub. Love Titanic Brewery. Maybe I'll get a uh, Titanic Brewery hoodie to wear in some of my videos, eh? Hint, hint. You can send me one. I don't mind. A phenomenal pub. Uh, just what I thought a phenomenal brewery in general. Uh, this is back in the ship of grounds. We're out until four o'clock. Craft beer house. Lovely little place. I was well excited to see be back there. So we're on our way next to the Grapes, which is one of the two craft unions in the town. Big old corner pub, as you can see. Where it been all right last time I was here? So uh, what is it? What am I on? Obviously, I've lost count now. I think it's stop seven. Stop seven, the Grapes. It's nice to be back in it, to be honest, because uh, you can see that this, this has obviously had a refill from the last time I came, and it feels a lot smarter and cleaner since obviously. Addition of a beer pong table. Uh, that stays out during the daytimes. It does go away about 10 o'clock at night if you're uh, if you're here looking for one layer. But karaoke starting up later on in here as well. Plenty of screens to use, but all the craft union pubs around. Decent stuff on the tap. So there's no hand pulls, but they're not that type of brand. I've got my neck roll. Love it. Nice to be back in here. We'll carry on the day. That's that's seven or eight down. I know you're counting, but it's better than mine. Just down the road from. Uh, the grapes, uh, literally, again, 20 yards down the road, brings you to. So I remember being in there last time. So the Devil's Bottle House. I'm gonna go and try and get a, a video and stuff of in there. We got the Devil's Tap House. We had a drink in here last time, and it was a wicked little place. 
You know what I mean? I love a, I love a craft beer. Uh, to have one in there. I'm going to go and get a video of what's in the uh, the Devil's Bottle House as well because it's all, all one business. Great little establishment, great little place. Uh, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a swift one in the uh, in the tap house though. Can't not, can I? So this is stop eight. I just counted. Great station stuff. So I'm in the uh, in the tap house. We've got some uh, wicked wicked things, including like, this. That's an interesting one. Roast dinner brown ale from Aunt Bessie's that I've never seen. But obviously you've got your bolt cities, you've got your other bits and pieces in. Good stuff on the taps and things as well. So I've gone in here, half of the bear tan, Northern Monk, uh, Northern Monk on, and some real ales, Brew Yorks. Going to, be, uh, going to have a look in the, the bottle shop as well, in a second. All good. In the bottle shop now, the bottle store. Uh, <laughs> honestly, the wicked selection of stuff in here. This is a great example of what a bottle store should be. The can selection is mint in here. Obviously got the Titanic stuff in here as well, which is nice to see local. Heavy emphasis on local. So I love I mean, these. These little kegs are amazing. Little things for home bars. If I was ever at home to drink and I wasn't out doing this all the time, I'd probably have a home bar. Well, I'm down have a home bar. I'm coming, don't worry, I'm coming. I'm getting to the sours. I'm getting to the Vault Cities. Here we go, look. You know we've tried all of those. We've talked about them extensively on this channel. But there is a there is a hell of a, a great Brew York, hell of a great Vault City selection in here. You you are not you are spoiled for choice in this one, trust me. This is a, a great little place. Literally just opposite the corner where the sun is, and these are the guys that saved the ship of grounds that I walked past a few minutes ago and said to you, I was going back in. These are the guys that saved the ship of ground from shutting down. So they are well worth your support, well worth coming out to see. I love it around here. I love Stafford. We're moving on. And from one of the, the best can bottle shops and things that I've been in, we stumble to the only existing, uh, current existing Wetherspoons in Stafford because the other one has gone, the Picture House. As you might be able to tell, this was an old cinema, old Picture House. It's beautiful inside. Uh, that's something I do remember about this. It's a Wetherspoons. Um, I'm not averse to doing Wetherspoons. It's going to be stop nine of the day, the Picture House. Um, can't wait to show you this carpet. Can't remember if it's any good or not, but I'm going to show you anyway. It's like an old cinema. It's very grand looking, look at this. What a grand looking thing. And the carpet, actually, the carpet's pretty much in keeping with what you would expect for an old picture house, isn't it? So, fair play one. Yeah, very grand looking gaff. Nice enough, whatever it's Big place, always seems busy. It's all right, stop nine in the back. I like the fact that as well, still got this old, uh, the old cinema entrance bit on. It's quite cool. It's cool for whatever it's Just around the corner from Spoons, uh, minutes walk. Brings to my second crafty union of the day. I am being spoiled today with the chain pups, aren't I? So Weatherspoons to craft well, craft union to independent to Weatherspoons to craft union. It's not, I don't just seek out the chain pups, guys. I do everything. Uh, and again, building this, coaching horses, second craft union, uh, and stop number nine. If you want a, a top friendly little local, uh, and you can watch watch your horse racing, and you can hear a bit of Neil Diamonds, this one. No ample stuff on. Friendly, friendly vibe, friendly service. Exactly what I expected. Exactly what you get. Uh, I went for a vodka and dark coke in it. It was vodka, I promise. Uh, I'm not cheating the system. But yeah, friendly welcome. Friendly local. Lovely people working here. Friendly locals. Is what it is. On we go. When we started this program, I hated Craft Union as a brand. I honestly did. I used to. I, I, I was one of those that was like, no, I'm not going there. It's Craft Union. I don't like it. But the thing with Craft Union pubs is, and I found out with both of them so far today, is they're friendly. They're welcoming, they do a lot for the community. They do a lot of charity stuff as well now. The lager beer selection there is crap, and it is crap. And it's one thing that I wish that they would up their game on. Because it's just, I mean, Carling, John Smith, Strongbow, it's not me, it's not It's not my cup of tea at all. But I get what they do it, because they, they keep their prices fair. I went for a vodka and dark coconut because I didn't want anything off the taps, no hand pulls on. They tried them, didn't work, so I, I get that totally, because when you, it's so demoralizing when you have a barrel and you throw half it away because I was drinking it. So I totally get it. I do. I totally get it. The people that run that are really friendly. So she's got some new lagers and stuff coming in there as well very soon. It's a, it's a decent enough pub, man. And it's friendly and it's nice. And it is what it is. So, yeah, I, I, bought, I really warmed to the Craft Union um, when there was a time when I was one of those guys that was just very prejudiced against them. So, go over this little uh, little bridge river as well. I remember calling this a stream or something. I can't remember what the river's called. Someone will correct me, I'm sure. But this is a river um, that I'm going over. And I'm going to the yard. That is my uh, my next port of call. Big, friendly, uh, sports-type bar. Was good last time I was here.
do it again. Honestly, I like it. So it's a big stone gate pole. Um, it's got, it's got, it was an old Yates's, so it's, it's still got the old Yates's layout and stuff, and it? it's got the screens galore around it. Like, literally, there are, there are screens galore, so you, so you can watch any of the sport and things like that. So it's a, it's a late night vibe pub. Um, I've got a pina colada, this, half one of them. You know what I'm, I'm like with a pina colada. But stone gate pubs, so the one thing that stone gate pubs do is they always have a really good lily selection and stuff like that, as well as three dedicated craft taps. Which I really like. I love the fact you've, you've got rotating, you've got anything you like on them, three different craft taps and stuff, which is, which is good to me. So I'm uh, recording and stuff as well. I'm a big fan of places like that. Pool, so there's a pool table up there on the, on the side as well. But so you, late night, it's a late night pub, so you can come here, they're up until one o'clock on a Thursday. Got a DJ starting later on tonight and stuff as well. Um, big weekend venue, obviously. I, I quite like it. I, I'm not adverse to Stonegate in the slightest thing. As a company, they're not bad. Um, and yeah, this is, uh, as far as it goes, uh, a decent one. So me, I'm not all just about pubs, I'm about culture and showing you around a beautiful town. What could be more beautiful? Seeing some old like watermills, things like that. It's a lovely, it's a lovely looking town to be honest, in general, Stafford. People are all friendly, I'm, I'm having a good day. Uh, we're about, I want to say we're halfway through, but we're not halfway through, are we? Because I'm going to end up adding God knows how many more. I don't know. But there's some history behind these, so I don't... In fact, there's a, there's a plaque out there we can go and read, but there's some real history. I'm just uh, just on the way to the bird in hand as well, but there's some history behind these. Let's go and read this blue plaque. Look at these, look. So, these apparently were, if you can read that, let's zoom you in. So Martin Knowles arms houses, right around 1660. That was Stafford, well, 1660, eh? Honestly, it feels like I've been out on this pub course since about 1660. But that beauty, see you back out, that beauty just there, the bird in hand. Now, there are very few times that I get mega excited about returning to uh, to pubs. I know I do, that's not fair. I mean, I do. But there were three in Stafford I was really looking forward to getting back to today. Obviously, we've been in the, the sun already. This was one of the others. The bird in hand, beautiful, proper, real ale pub this is proper pub so very pleased with this about it and that nice what a great pub burning hand up next it's split into two sides this uh, on the on the little side at the front of the pub but you can see it's black country ales that run this pub um i mean some of their stuff is just absolutely magnificent they do an ale trail uh, as well i think i've got 50 odd pubs uh, black country ales that I don't know how many I've been in there, not as many as I would like to have done. I've gone for the uh, the seasider in here, blood orange, because I'm on the cleansing thing where I've had enough ales and beers today that I need a little cider. After the lilies, pina colada lilies in the last one, this is a uh, blood orange seasider, which is super, but a lovely pub. This steeped in history, second bar around there, little snug area and stuff like that. But it's just a it's a beautiful pub with a wealth of ales and other stuff going on that I might, have to, I might have to dive into that in a minute <laughs> great pub I can't crack TikTok I wish I could it gives me a bit of TikTok but I can't just, seriously follow me on TikTok because I can't crack it I can't work it out help me help me crack TikTok I've even set me down for, myself down for a quick snack in here corned beef and Branston pickle and they call it a roll in it, which is the, which is it's a roll in it, it's a roll, yeah. I I, I don't I, t I went somewhere the other day and I can't remember what they were a batch. They were calling it a batch. What on earth is a batch? It's a roll. It's a good roll like that. I love the bird in hand. It's such a it's such a wiki public, so friendly. But I'm being that guy again. Look, look at the overhang on this building. Look how beautiful this building is. I do walk down. Some absolutely blinding places, but look here, just look at this. What a tarot crystal ball readings. <laughs> well, I mean, the witch's broomstick outside it says it all, don't it? But what amazing, what amazingly stunning building. The tap, there's a lot of stuff in this town that is absolutely beautiful, including in front of the kind of corner. That little thatched roof on that, look. Look at the roof on that. So it's funeral directors. <laughs> what, what mecca looking. 16 tens a year on the uh, on the bit in the middle. Look at that. Look at that. Huh. 
Back to pubs though, yeah. So I'm on the main high street part. Uh, apparently I've got uh, one called The Bear that I didn't do last time because uh, it was closed down for a refurb. Uh, and apparently it's beautiful. I can see it now, yeah. It's The Bear, so we'll be doing that. This is right in the town centre. Look at that. And it's right as opposite this grand old beast called the Swan Hotel. I remember being in the Swan Hotel last time, I think it's absolutely magnificent. Very, very grand, very, very beautiful place. So I'm very much looking forward to being back in. So the Swan Hotel is number 13 of the day. A uh, proper beautiful old building. It's a bit like the way they've decked it out, but look at the, the old beams and things like that. It is a, a really stunningly beautiful old building. Brixton pile on, stuff like that. Uh, only the one on the handles. But just, uh, just come for a little walk with me and uh, have a look around this. So all the little snug rooms. I just just grand and superb, like <laughs> the window stuff all there. But it's a wicked, wicked hotel room and uh, sort of a hotel room, hotel. Um, um, I love it. It's a, it's a really nice, it's a really nice establishment. Um, yeah, there's class, classy vibes about it. Good. Uh, I've gone for uh, half an old moot in it. Still cleansing that palette. Grand feeling, old place that is. I love uh, a, bit, a bit of history and hotels and stuff. And having come out of the front door there and looked across, I've definitely done this before. So it wasn't being refurbished last time I was here. We definitely did it. Uh, beautiful old purposes. So it might have had a refurb since I was here, but we definitely did do it last time. But again, look at this. Look at this grand, beautiful building. Stafford is littered with beautiful buildings. Uh, but anyway, yeah, up next then, so stop. 13, the bear. Can we run a little counter on the, the bottom of the screen so we can all work out how many puffs I've done? I'm never gonna work it out on my own. Yeah, I totally remember this. This, yeah, full sober and stuff. The staggered layout and things, old pub. Player screens, uh, two handful options on the bar, but nothing nothing on either of them. So yeah, it looks like it did have pedigree and stuff on, but nothing currently on this selection on the bar. But. Yeah, plate of bottle, plate of bottle choice, nice enough friendly pub. Yeah, I do remember it, it was a decent pub. The second pub I've been in, that has a little perspex spot in the uh, in the bottom of the floor. The great big bear statue. Well. Ten points to Gryffindor, if you can tell me what the first one was, leave a comment below. Bet you can't remember. Bet you don't know what it is there. But yeah, finding, the, uh, finding another bear under the floor that I never knew was there. So, I wanted back to the bottom of town. I wanted to catch this, the ship of ground. Proper craft beer place. Uh, and it very, very, very nearly went out of existence. Thank God that the guys at the Devil Wishes over the road did save it. Didn't happen until four, so I'm about to walk all the way back down to the bottom of town, but I had all the way to the top of town again. But I'm glad to be here. I said this is one of my favorite ones last time, and I'm really pleased to see that it did survive, and we can get back in. A little bit deflated, to be honest. I've walked in here, it's, again, it's cash only, and so they don't take cars, which I, I find baffling. If you want to go and spend cash in a pub, it's, it's, you said the, the business is 100%, but this place nearly went out of business. Surely anything they can they do to earn more can fridge uh, and stuff out there. On from, uh, I think it's, I, I can't remember it's from, but it's, it's not, it's a cherry one. Um, yeah, the, the last on the bar, she's not personable uh, at all. Not friendly, not welcoming, not appealing, like doesn't really want to speak to you. Like it's just, I've never been, I've seen quite such a standoffish person on the bar for, for quite a while, I think. So yeah, a little bit deflated because I really, really, really love this place. Uh, I thought it was great, but yeah, she's not a particularly great advert for it. Oh, that, yeah, that was a, it's a bit deflating really because I did really like it in there, but yeah, not a, not a great experience that time around. So it's a long walk to this, so I did jump in a cab and cheated uh, 10 minutes in a cab through the traffic up to the King's Arms. So I worked my way down from here back into the top of town, and King's Arms is up next. Nice, friendly, uh, it's, it's a residential street boozer, isn't it? But yeah, really friendly, nice, smart looking pub. Cut of hand pulls on, on stuff on the thing. I think you might be one of the door uh, pubs again because they've been forged on. I don't get it, but yeah, nice, nice friendly pub. Nice decent, nice decent experience. On to the next one. Right, just down the road from the King's Arms, which was a, a lovely little place, I uh, really enjoyed it, is the Tap Bar and Restaurant. Uh, these guys have contacted us on the Facebook page, asking us to come. I'm very happy to, uh, to be here. Uh, it looks a lovely place, got a really good reputation in town. I've asked beautiful pub building, this is. So I'm very looking forward to being this one. But I said I was very much looking forward to going back in the ship of Brown and yeah, the guy that runs that. He's a bit special. 
hoping this is much better. I'm sure it will be. Yeah, this place is very impressive, very swanky, very nice looking. Uh, really good selection of stuff on the bar, on the taps and stuff. Only landlord. The hand pulls. Uh, we've got options to put others on, but they've uh, got the Thatcher's tray. We've got, um, I've got uh, from yeah, yeah, Gamma Ray from Beaver Town, I've got, which I'm happy with. Um, they've, they've also got neck and stuff like that on. Take your stuff on. It's dog friendly. Fox Red Lab down there. But it is a, uh, this is a really beautiful establishment. The staff are really friendly. I'm really, I'm really, really impressed by this. This is definitely well worth the walk up from that ground. Absolutely loved it in the tap. I think that is a wonderful place. Uh, oh, windy blue sun at the end. Uh, wonderful place. Bar, restaurant, I said the whole, the food looks great. It smells great, the staff are friendly. It's a lovely looking place. Great beer selection as well, which is always good to see in a restaurant-y type pub. Walking back towards the town, the ground. Is that next? Another free house? Love a good free house, me. I like it here a lot. This is, uh, it's, it's, it's another one. So it's just up from town. So it's on my way back down from where the tap was, back towards the town. But it's probably the Oakham Ales on. Love Oakham in general as a town, love the Oakham Ales. Look at these, level head. I, I would have gone for it had I not gone for this. Shelby Stout that I've never heard of before. It's very nice. It's actually very nice. Very, very good. Lovely little vibe. Lovely little pub this is. Got the, uh, got the sports and stuff on. Got a dartboard and the thing. Got another, as we go, there's another separate room all the way back around this way. People that run it are really friendly, really nice. Yeah, second bar. Second bar slice. Beautifully decked out. Really nice pub. Really nice place. Really happy with uh, stopping here. Thanks for shouting it out, guys, because otherwise I necessarily wouldn't always find out goes on without your help. So thanks a lot. Really pleased to stop to. On to pub number, I think it's 19. 19 of the day so far. Uh, former Weatherspoons. Uh, reopened recently at Butcher's Bell, at Butler's Bell. The Butler's Bell. Uh, yeah, former Weatherspoons pub. Interested to see what they've done with the place. Uh, I've got, I have got seven left. Former Spoons. Now the butler's bell. Let's have a look and see what we've got in here. Actually quite like this now. Uh, oh, you can take Weber's out of the pub though. It'll still look like a good layout. But now, plenty of screens for football. It's a pool table over there in that corner. But the toilets will always be upstairs. Staff are friendly. Uh, drinks prices are still dirt cheap. Run by Davenport's now. One pound ninety one for half an Atlantic pale though. Steal that. Uh, yeah, I, they, they, they've done well with it. So yeah, it, it still looks like, it feels like a spoon. The carpet's gone. There's no carpet. Can't even take a photo. No carpet, but yeah, decent, decent booze and has to be fair. Every single lad that I just encountered in the, uh, the old web spoons held a door open for me, was polite, was... <sighs> Stafford, Stafford can be polite, it's, it's quite nice to be fine, most of it. So, just that too, Hogarths. So I've done a few Hogarths now. Most of them have been really, really good. The Newcastle on the line one was a bit shite, if I'm honest, but the rest of them, generally, always, always pretty good. So, uh, Hogarth Stafford up next. When I get distracted, I, saw, I talked about it. I nearly, I nearly left Hogarth without doing a video. But introduce yourself. Uh, Steve. Gaffer. 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 At the, uh, at the Hogarth here. I said, I, they've got, they've got some good food. I just had a single vodka and Diet Coke in it, and I had it for £2.45. No, you didn't mishear me. There wasn't an error in the recording. £2.45 for a single vodka and Diet Coke in it. Wow. That's dirt cheap, isn't it? That's, I've been in recently, I've really like, look at this. You can watch the sport any way you like in here. What a great pub this is. What a beautiful looking environment we're in. Literally, you can see from anywhere you want. You've got a football table as well. Nowhere's got a football table. I'm loving the Hogarth Puzzle bin. He's a lovely guy. It's a, it's a lovely place. Lovely environment. I've met a lovely couple as well. They are nice people. Dartboard at the back. Dartboard at the back. This is a, it's a, it's a top pub. Staff is a top town. On we go. Five to do. Damn good Hogarth. That is... I, honestly, I said Hogarth were another one that I was a little bit iffy with for a while, but I really like them. I've warmed to Hogarth. They offer, I mean, £2.45 for a single vodka and Dark Oak. <laughs> Mental, that. I think I'm on pub 21 or 22, and I'm remarkably sober, aren't I? Considering some of my videos. But, staff is the oldest pub. Cannot come and do this, guy. The Vine Hotel. This is a beauty. I remember being here last time and absolutely creaming myself over how beautiful this place was inside. So, very much looking forward to being back in here. And it's 20, 20, 21, 22 already. I've still got a few to do, so let's carry on. What a beautiful, what a beautiful little beams and stuff in here. So I love the low ceilings. I love everything about it. It's such a cool, windy little place. It's got some decent stuff on the taps and things as well. Why right? watch some penny ring on? Got a pool table in this back room. And the, and, the, and the staff are, give us a wave. The staff are really lovely, really friendly. But yeah, Stafford's oldest pub. Stafford's oldest, see, I was right. That never doubt me, I was right. Stafford's oldest pub, what a beautiful little place this is, but well worth a visit. Glad to be back in here. Right, just out of the, uh, 
the vine. Why, well, uh, Yvette, the worst behind the vine. What a lovely lady she is. What a truly lovely lady. Um, and I, I love the vine. I think it's a wicked place. So, well pleased to have been back in there. But Jules Pub, next. Ye old Rose and Crown. And again, look at the beauty of this place. Yeah. You know how much I appreciate an old boozer? Um, I've still got so many to do. But... I can't walk past anything as beautiful as this, especially when I haven't done it before. Beauty, Yale Rose and Crown. I absolutely love this. So, 16th century cellar, loads of old parts in the building that are absolutely cool as fuck. Jowls, not jewels. Look at some of the stuff I've got in. All the stuff. Absolutely. What a wicked, wicked little place. I'm going with Guinness, you know. They're playing a quiz, so I need to shh, because they can't hear with me talking, but what a wicked old pub this is. So happy to be here. So everything, everything here, like 16th century, 17th century, everything's been built over the years, but what a wicked old school pub this is. Jowls pub. I'm going to stop saying Jules and now say Jowls, because it's funny I say so. Great place. I can't possibly leave that beautiful, the rest of this pub is like, how old? How beautiful is the rest of this pub? Like, look at it. Absolutely stunning. They played a quiz, and I answered a couple right. I'm sure I got more wrong than I got right. And I'm going to leave before they realise that all my answers were shite. What a stunning pub that is, and I'm really glad that I now know that it's called Jowls and not Jules. None of you have ever corrected me when I've said that wrong. Not sure how you would in the comment, because I still wouldn't hear it right, would I? But yeah, Jowls, not Jules. So, well, glad I went there. So, my next stop is, let's go. It is Shrewsbury Arms. Now, a lot of people said to me that, I need to come and do this one. Can't believe we missed it on the first visit here, because it looks an absolute beauty. So I'm well looking forward to this. Yeah, proper old school real ale pub. Uh, Black Country Ales run it again, same as the uh, the Burning Hand. You got Black Country Ales choices, as you would expect on the thing. You can watch the darts in the Premier League's on. What a lovely little room this is as well, look. God. Hey, I had a, I had a roll in the Burning Hand there and it was actually mint, but I'm not having another one. What a lovely, established, like, a lovely little establishment, like. The people playing uh, board games and stuff up there and things as well. It's a, it's a really good old school pub. This lady you saw me at, do I, because for those of you who always call me out and say he doesn't drink those drinks, do I drink all my drinks? He did, and he does. Say two, two you've seen me in now. Yes. Say no cheating here. I had a mango lilies in here, and it was very nice. But yeah, proper, they've got, they've got some really good stuff on. I've never tried the, uh, the old oh, Tollgate Brewery, I know quite well. I've never tried their old Rasputin, Magpie, obviously that's two minutes from my house, Magpie Brewery, that is. Ever have a, ever have Blue Monkey Brewery stuff on in there? Don't think so. Wow. Well, Guess who I'm going to be getting to ring them tomorrow. You know? oh, there you go. You know? Anyone who gives me a free hoodie, I'll always pick you up wherever I go. Again, I, I really like it in there. She's really friendly, the last that, that works in there. Uh, I did see her earlier in the other Black Country hours on the Burning Hands. On the Wonder. I mean, look at, look at this. Just look at some of what's in Stafford. <sighs> I feel like I was born in a cardboard box, man, because some of this is so beautiful. Right, the dog house was also on my list to do. Google Rankings is up until 12.30. Don't very open at all to me, so that's going to be off the list, I feel. I mean, you tell me. That certainly don't look open to me. So we're on to the market vaults next anyway. Yeah, dog house was going to be, been in there before, loved it. So I was quite looking forward to being back in, but that definitely got some opening hours on the, uh, on the door apparently, so. Oh, Thursday, seven till late, and yet they are well and truly closed. So, what a shame! Can't do the doghouse. Let's go market bolts. You just down the down, down away from the doghouse. The market bolts. Uh, they claim Stafford's best burger. I'm a bit late for a burger now, to be honest. But doghouse shot. This is a. Uh, I've only got this and red rum to do anyway. So, market bolts up next. Then, uh, honestly, I really like it in here. I think it's mint. Um, I've met a management couple that are here. They're sound as fuck, to be honest. And it's a lovely, it's a lovely booze of this. So they do a little bit of live music and stuff. What was it on Sunday? Open mic on a Sunday. And on the bar and stuff, in here. So, oh, right. I love the old rogue thing, things like that. But, but, the boldest claim I've ever heard in my life has cut, she's laughing her head off. She don't even want to, she don't even want to be here, but she's laughing her head Right, the boldest claim I've ever heard in my life is, this is the best, where's my swig? Where's my swig of Guinness? The best, I want a swig. The best Guinness, the best Guinness in Stafford is on offer in here. So we're gonna, that's my shipyard, I'll finish it. 
we we are going to test this out. We want to, we had a little swig, a little swig, a little swig, a little swig. So the best Guinness in Stafford. It's it's Paddy's day next week. So if this really is the best Guinness in Stafford, we're about to find out now. Look, it's giving me a whole a full half pint. So it's there. I've never tasted the Guinness in this place in my life, but categorically, categorically, the best Guinness in Stafford. Let's try this together. I mean, it looks good. Smells good. Confident still? Look at look. She's confident. That's the best Guinness I've had today. I can't comment on all the stuff about the best Guinness I've had today. Honestly, Paddy's down next weekend. That's the best Guinness I've had today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best Guinness I've had today. I'm going to drink the rest of it as well because it's put in front of me. Right, Marky Bolts, quality. Uh, absolutely loved it. Lovely people to run there. Uh, they've got one in Cannock. I'm very much now looking forward to going to see. Apparently they're the best burger in Stafford. Uh, and they've challenged me to come back and try them. Which I'm more than happy to do. As you know. But if the Guinness is anything to go, the Guinness was great. And I did drink it, even though it was a whole half pint. Like, yeah, I asked for a sip, but half a pint. I think this was what I took the photo of before we said we were coming to Stafford. Beautiful square. Last pub of the night. I say pub. Late night venue. Rock music. House. Loved it last time we were here. Red Rum, it's called, you know, like the uh, the Shining. Red Rum Murder, you know. That's what it's called, that's what it's named after. Wicked place, I can hear it from here. So maybe you can, but. Last stop of the night will be Red Rum. Which that's since 24, that's not bad, is it? And I think I'm still doing pretty well, coherently. Much better than I was in Ilkis enough 24. <sighs> to have done it, so. Well, literally, we're coming up for it now. Here it is, look. Follow the music. I'll walk faster. Follow the music and we will get there together. But you can hear, so a bit of live music going on. They're not normally open on Thursday, according to Google. You can hear that, can't okay? you? Yeah. It's that beautiful old looking building just there. I mean, it doesn't look very open, does it? But it is that beautiful building just there. Red Rum. Stop number 24 of my evening. A good way to bow out for Stafford. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Zero chance of anyone coming here downstairs bar. However, this lad has told me we're going to go upstairs for a bit. Uh, the main bar normally looks like with a pool soda stuff in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go upstairs for a beer, but very light on it. But yeah, red shot, red rum lager. I wonder what that tastes like. I bet it's Carling. Rock pubs often do that and try and pass regular lager off as carling. This guy needs to get the shit out of me first, but uh, yeah. So, up we go.